Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. So I wanted to show you today another member of the Cizygium family and give you an update on it. This is Cizygium smithii. Probably be able to see that. I think that will probably focus okay if I leave it at an angle. At an angle. Now I've got this back in about February. There's about maybe about a five or six inch seedling plant. Um, the common name of this is Lily Pilly. This came from Jurassic Plants um, and it came in one of those tiny little there we are, it, it came in one of these tiny little square pots and I upsized it to this size pot here and it's really really taken off. It's in I'm keeping it in the kitchen at the moment. These are one of the hardiest of the Cizygiums and might as a large plant possibly survive uh, very light frost because I certainly wouldn't want to test it at the moment but it should be one of the easier ones to get to a flowering and fruiting size as they do flower and fruit when they're quite young. Um, I'm not sure that the fruit will be particularly edible but it is now a size and it's putting on lots of new growth here as you can see. Lovely pink or reddish growth the new shoots are but it's at a size where I think it can comfortably go up one pot size. I think it's probably in about it's in a one litre pot and I'm going to put it up to this one which is probably a two litre pot. It's about the next size up so it should be absolutely perfect for it. I won't know until I pull it out what the roots are like but I would imagine that it's developed a fair amount of new roots since uh, I repotted it when I think, I think it was probably maybe it was about March or April when I potted it up because I didn't want to do it when I first got it because it wouldn't have been very well it wouldn't have been very well settled. So we'll pop it out and see if it's got any new roots showing on it. I'm not sure that it will, but it's certainly certainly okay to go it up, go up a little bit in pot size. Let's see if we can loosen it without causing any problems. Oh that's good. Yeah. <sighs> It's got a nice little network of very fibrous roots on it. These aren't a taproot plant, so um, we haven't got to worry about uh, having a giant deep pot for a taproot. Just a normal fibrous plant like most, uh, fibrous rooted plant like most Zingiums. So I'm just going to pop that gently into the new pot without disturbing it. Put some new. Uh, put some new compost rounds. Firm it down a little bit, and that's job done already. Lost one leaf there. And put the label back in. I mean, I won't forget what it is, but it's a good idea to label your plants if you want to make sure, in case anybody else ever wants to know what they are. And I'm going to give him a watering and put him back in the kitchen where he was standing in front of the glass. He seemed to be very happy. Um, another job done, but very pretty little plant. And I think the flowers, when they do eventually flower, hopefully next year I might get some flowers on it. It's going to be quite um, an attractive looking plant, and I'll obviously feature it at that time. But um, thanks for watching the video. As usual, I'm going to ask you to give me a thumbs up, share the video with anyone you think might have an interest in it. Obviously, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and you like the sort of things I'm trying to grow. And um, if you want to keep get updates on this and the new videos as they come out, just remember to click on the bell, and you'll uh, you'll be updated. Thanks for watching. I'll catch up with you all in the next video. It's Brett out for now.